Alright guys, welcome to the channel. Today we have a different topic. Today we're gonna be talking about is Dior or Sauvage really worth it in 2012? First of all, we wanna talk about Dior or Sauvage EDT, not this one, the first released one, which was released in 1966. It was a classic one. It was a very different take on perfumes. But fast forward to 2012, they made Dior au Sauvage Parfum. It's the new concentration. Although this formula is now not available, as Dior stopped its production, now they have au Sauvage Parfum, but with a new reformulation. But they are basically very close to each other. So we're gonna talk about this one. This one is a modern man fragrance. It is a suit and tie fragrance. It's very formal. It's very balsamic, which means that it has myrrh note in it. It's not gonna be for everyone's liking, as the myrrh note really stands out. Some will like it, some will hate it, but it is what it is. It's a very nice fragrance. It's a very gentleman fragrance. Is it worth buying in 2020? I would say yes. Whether it is the 2012 formulation or the 2019 reformulation, I would say it's a nice fragrance and it is worth buying in 2020. Thanks, catch you in the next one.